The Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government has banned Al Jazeera in Israel, so that's why we're reporting from the Jordanian capital, Amman, and we'll bring in Imran Khan, who's standing by for us from there. Imran, uh, what are you hearing about how much pressure there is at this point on the Netanyahu government to restart negotiations? Well, there's a little bit of background to all of this. The Bring Them Home campaign, which is the advocacy group uh, that advocates on behalf of the families of the captives, released a heavily edited video uh, within the last 24 hours. It shows five female soldiers being taken captive by Hamas from the Nahal Oz camp uh, military base. Now, the Bring Them Home campaign released this video deliberately with one specific goal in mind, to try and put pressure on the war cabinet to resume uh, negotiations over the captives. And it worked. That video went viral. It's the only thing uh, anybody was really discussing on the late night talk shows and editorials in newspapers this morning. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the war cabinet simply had to listen to the Israeli public for once on this particular issue. So what they've done is they pushed uh, the uh, negotiating team to go back uh, and try and come up with a new draft. Now, there was already a draft in place. There have been several drafts in place to try and get these captives out um, and get Palestinian prisoners released as well. Uh, but it's always fallen at the very last hurdle. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if the negotiators can actually push Hamas toward a deal, because Hamas has been very, very clear. There has to be either a temporary ceasefire or a more permanent ceasefire. And that's something uh, that the Israelis don't want to do. They want to carry on the war on Gaza, uh, but they want these captives released as well. So it's going to take some time, but this comes as direct pressure uh, from the Bring Them Home campaign. And that's interesting. Let's see uh, how much more pressure this group can actually put on them to actually get this deal signed. And if this deal um, is something that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his war cabinet can actually swallow. So let's see what happens in the coming days. All right, Imran, thank you for that update from Amman. Once again, Imran is having to report from Amman because Benjamin Netanyahu's government has banned Al Jazeera from reporting in Israel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.